Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this particular video, we are going to talk about the GATE results. Congratulations to all of you who qualified GATE and already has an impression that they qualified GATE. The reason I am telling you is this, because the GATE score, really uh, what GATE score you got or whatever rank you got, uh, do they really matter or not? That's what we are going to discuss today. I am not going to steal your limelight here but i'm going to speak the truth okay the thing is a uh, gate life science is comparatively a lot easier test than csa and net and other examinations so gate life science can be qualified quite easily those who qualified congratulations to that but now let's do some reality check the reality check is that the gate life science result uh, they provide you the rank based on whatever score you got basically out of 100 whatever score you got 30 32 34 36 37 you get a rank Okay, so whatever value you get, you get a rank ultimately. 1700, 2000, something like that, you'll get a rank. 200, you get a rank. Now, whether 200 rank is good, whether 1700 rank is good, you can assess yourself. I'm getting questions uh, almost like in every minute uh, since the day uh, the GATE results came out. Right now, I'm going to give you an idea about what this GATE result actually stands for. See, this GATE result, what you need to basically go through is that you need to understand one simple thing. There are three different categories. One is a good category, excellent category result for GATE, whether GATE Life Science, GATE Biotechnology. Then there are GATE good quality or good category results. And then there are not so good category results. So good, uh, excellent category result means if your rank is under 100, then will be considered excellent then it is something useful then you can take your rank of the gate the score of the gate and can apply to iits and get in there to do phd funded phd stipend phd if your score is under if your rank not score rank is under 500 in that case it is considered as a good rank so you can still apply in iits iisc's not iisc iisc generally takes first 500 people there but Till 500, you can go with the IITs. There are different IITs who prefer individuals less than 500, less than 300 rank. The details of which I'll put in this video. You can see the details in here. Uh, sorry, uh, in this side, you can clearly see the uh, uh, the details out there, and you can clearly see what these different ranks mean. So I'll 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 just uh, give you an idea, an overview about what that uh, usually mean. This table, you can clearly see the uh, rank. Uh, based on the gate result and which iits prefer that particular rank okay that's what i'm going to discuss so here you can clearly see about the good ranks and in this table you can clearly see one thing that iic bangalore in this side iic bangalore uh, they take rank top 50 to 100 then iit bombay take top 50 to 200 rank holders not score rank holders iit delhi 50 to 300 rank holders kanpur up to 100 to 400 iit madras 200 to 500 iit kharagpur 200 to 600 iit guwahati 300 to 700 and particularly many of my students are placed there and yes if you score i mean if your rank is uh, more than 300 something to 300 400 you can apply to iit guwahati for biological science is a good one nit trishi 500 to 1000 uh, uh, rank holders nit warangal 500 to 1000 jnu delhi 500 to 1000 and university of hyderabad 500 to 1000 so this list of uh, rank holders for gate is listed maximum till 1000 so more than that rank generally considered useless for gate so just get a reality check more than 1000 rank is not useful for gate okay so if you score less than that follow this table and you can check this different their official website for this IIT, ISC and NITs to appear their PhD written examination then interview because many of them will conduct their own written examination then interview even after you qualify get in order to be eligible to do PhD in there okay and some of them can offer only interview to get in there as a PhD candidate okay so that's the job so congratulations take your time off but now again start to work on it start to work on the interview skills and all because you need to attain that qualify that then all then only you'll be able to get in and many people ask me that with the get score can i do phd yes you can do phd from iits and nits and iisc as well but you need to score well in the gate and also you need to appear in other examination right so gate is a subsidiary thing it's not the primary thing right now so that's all about get rank and get score i believe you have a clear idea now
So all the very best. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.